just got this wonderful thing here. When I first seen it, I thought, oh, might be off a package watch or something, but I don't think so, that on. Obviously, it's some sort of gear, maybe a clock, something like that. But very clay here where I am, so not expecting much, but just got to plod along, haven't we? Right. That'll do anyway. It's something, isn't it? Catch you in a bit. Right, I'm out today uh, with our mayor. He's, uh, he's wandering about up there. And just come on this little patch. Sorry about the shadow, that was my finger. And second signal, first signal was a tom back button. Second signal, I'm using my phone so the not too good the pitch yeah is a just the fifth can even see if that's upside down now. uh six prince nineteen fourteen so that's not a bad fat fat <laughs> it's not a bad start is it not a bad fat oh god right so <laughs> we'll carry on see if there's anything else Right, I think we've got a nice little find here. Uh, oops, hang on. Could be like a sword hanger, a belt hanger. But I'm using my camera, so at my phone, so it's not that brilliant. But it's got a pattern on. Yeah, definitely, it's definitely, I think. Definitely think it's a little belt hanger, sword hanger thing. Ooh, that's a nice little van. I wasn't expecting that. Right, let's see if we can find a sword now. Right, catch you in a bit. Right, just a very quick roundup. It's mostly bloody rubbish anyway, so uh, this is. Mine and our Mark's finds here. Not just mine. Uh, we're on a, a a permission that's very. The ground is clay, so I didn't expect much on there because obviously, going back centuries, uh, they wanted good ground to grow crops on and all that for obviously for food and that. and. Uh, so there's not been many people actually on the land. If it was crops on there, you'd expect hammered coins and, you know, you'd find out a lot of artefacts and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm boring you. But that's what happened. When you're on clay land, it's mostly uh, pasture. And just for cattle and grazing. So anyway, usual suspects. Big lumber vine, couple of vine rings, an iron buckle. Yeah, I don't know why I set a bloody pocket watch. That's bigger than a pocket watch on its own. But uh, I don't know if it's off. Not uh, a big lump of vine. Oh, just rubbish, really. A uh, couple, of few tomback buttons. That one, uh, if you look at that, that's got a, a wire on the shank. You see? I'm just thinking, wondering if someone tried to make cufflinks with two buttons or something. Well, that's metal, you know, piece of wire. So anyway, let's get on over there. Just rubbish, complete rubbish. Uh, a little pistol bow, uh, probably a loom weight. I'm imagining. Uh, and two best finds. Uh, there's the George the fifth sixpence nineteen forty and that's cleaned up really really well. And it only took me a couple of minutes. It really cleaned up nicely. But my best you find is this is either a belt hanger or a sword hanger. And if I can zoom in you might be able to see the pattern on that. I don't know whether you can. All I can see in the screen is the reflection of my bloody face. 
that's not pretty bro I just soaked, added soaking in a bit of uh, olive oil and that because it was drying out right now that's nice as it is right? I'll see this hook on the bottom not the ring the, the hook itself but turn it side on look at that let's get it against the white if we can you see that it's not just a straightforward hook, it's like a, I don't know, a swan, a snake's head or something like that. So uh, I think I'll have to send the floor a few pictures of this. It's pretty nice. Anyway, that's it. Loaded rubbish, but... I expected it on, on that land. But that's the joys of metal detecting, isn't it? You win some, you lose some. And that's the way it goes. So uh, good luck hunting everyone and catch you all again soon. Okay, see you there for now.